evening. Welcome to Secrets of the Stones. Tonight's stone is Chalcopyrite. Chalcopyrite is given the name Zhu Ren Tong, which means natural copper. It is an opaque stone that appears as metallic yellow. Chalcopyrite is known as peacock stone because it changes to iridescent shades of green, blue, and violet upon exposure to air. Its iridescent tarnish is caused by oxidation and is composed of bornite, a different kind of copper iron sulfide. When found in nature, it usually appears in massive blocks or in botryoidal grape-like form. Individual crystals are sometimes found as well. And at the bottom of the screen is the crystal structure. Chalcopyrite is composed of copper iron sulfide, but can also contain trace elements such as nickel, lead, zinc, cobalt, gold, silver, cadmium, selenium, and tin. Sulfur tonifies the warming, expansive yang qi, and strengthens the immune, immune system. Copper and iron support the production and circulation of blood. Chalcopyrite is very moving. It breaks up energy that has been blocked, clears fire toxins, and helps repair DNA. One of the most common sources of copper, chalcopyrite, has been mined for thousands of years. The stone provided the basis for the progression of the Bronze Age. Common locations include England, Europe, Asia, South America, Canada, Australia, and the United States. This is a map of the deposits of copper in the world. And this is the Olympia mine in Australia, in Adelaide, where much um, chalcopyrite is mined today. So what are the functions and uses? Well, this stone has a tetragonal crystal structure and an affinity for the lung, large intestine, metal temperament. I've done another video on the crystal structures and the temperaments. This video will be linked at the end of the slideshow. But tetragonal crystals are used to affirm the metal temperament, person, personality, or qualities. In general, tetragonal crystals have a harmonizing effect. Anatomically, they resonate with the rectangular bones, such as the humerus and the femur. They are associated with the lung meridian and large intestine meridian, which are related to the metal element in traditional Chinese medicine. The lung meridian traverses the humerus. Tetragonal crystals are beneficial for loss of physical or emotional balance. To help us redefine life from a more balanced point of view, and for eliminating feelings of guilt concerning a lack of productivity or an inability to accomplish all goals. Chalcopyrite directs the outermost defensive Wei Qi upward and stimulates the warming expansive Yang Qi to support the immune system. It is beneficial for strengthening immunity and for conditions of pain. This stone also clears heat from the body and benefits the essence and DNA. It is beneficial for reducing inflammation in the tissue, for a deep feeling of heat emanating from the bones, especially during the evening hours. This condition is called steaming bone disorder. And for decreasing the side effects of radiation, Chalcopyrite clears fire toxins, which are extreme toxins that cause feelings of intense heat. It cools heat in the blood and detoxifies the brain, the marrow, and the bone. Chalcopyrite also has a regulating effect on the qi of the liver and is beneficial for reducing the signs and symptoms of excess liver qi invading the stomach.
such as indigestion and bloating. It soothes the liver wind, and the liver is quick to um, be affected by emotions, especially the emotion of anger. This can cause heat in the liver to burn up the cooling liver yin fluids, and liver wind rises up uncontrollably and causes tremors, seizures, and neurological conditions. So chalcopyrite has a sedating effect on liver wind because it is cooling. Chalcopyrite also enhances the palace of opportunity. I will do another video on the nine palaces. It is a feng shui um, method of, um, you can place stones in certain areas of the house to enhance opportunity. And everyone has a different palace based on where they, um, when they were born. But Chalcopyrite's nourishing and regulating effect on the blood attracts the support of friends as well. So what are the practical applications of this stone? You can place chalcopyrite on the top of the head on point known as Governor Vessel 20 or Dew 20 for 10 minutes a day to stimulate the yang qi, the warming qi of the kidneys and to promote hair growth. You can place chalcopyrite on the beginning point of the kidney channel, kidney one, which is locate, located on the soles of the feet for 10 minutes a day to move the warming yang qi of the kidneys and repair damage to the DNA or essence. The treatment time should be limited to 10 minutes per day because copper can overstimulate the yang qi and cause headache. You can combine this stone with opal or another stone that nourishes the yin fluids, such as moonstone, to ensure that the body has enough cooling yin fluids to flush out toxins. Chalcopyrite is not intended for internal consumption. An elixir using a clear quartz crystal can be made, however, and I have done a video on the elixir I will link it at the end of this video. You can place the stone under the sun for a couple of hours to recharge. Here are some images of chalcopyrite. It solidifies into a tetragonal crystal structure. can also be found in grape-like form. Botryoidal form. Well, thank you for joining me tonight on Secrets of the Stones. I hope you're having a wonderful day or weekend, and I'll see you next time.